guess it's time to take a look at the uh, faction PvP. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I mean, there's nothing going on at the faction PvP right now. Well, I have not uh, took a look at it at all yet. I just finished making the Reaper. Gonna finish the tutorial. The preliminary quest has not been completed and has therefore um, been automatically accepted. Okay. So we'll yeah, I have to finish the training quest first before I can do anything else. Right. I need to go to the cultivation. Continue tutorial. No, it's right here. I have to talk to this guy. Complete this. Then go... Go here, I think it was. By casting Dustbringer, you can conceal yep. yourself from the enemy and regenerate for Here a short time. is the training tutorial. So make yourself invisible after Dustbringer. Perform more mm. in the Dustbringer state. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, what's Hello. up? Uh, what are you guys playing? Uh, Swords of Legend Online. I'm doing the tutorial right now. Or not the tutorial, just the, the training tutorial. It's just, uh... Doing these skills. Perform spectral phantom. Dead. And record. To cast returning shadow in the moonlight to return to the mark location. Damn, the. I think the English voiceover isn't even the same skill name. Uh, they're no better than the Chinese. <laughs> uh, so perform the spectral phantom. Record your information. Uh, yeah, so this, that's just teaching how to use the um, back in time skill. And then Dustbringer. And then reset. Let's see, what is this? The target has a progress bar. What's the skill name in casting? Interrupt. Okay. This is like the same thing. I've never seen this in PvP. Interrupt? Have you ever interrupted anyone in PvP yet? Because I don't think, like, I've never seen this casting bar in PvP yet. I'm not sure if this is a PvP only or PvE only mechanic or something like that. Survival ability. Survival ability can reduce or prevent damage sustained. Makes you immune to damage. Yep. That's about right. Okay. Lunar seal can make the target unconscious, leading it unable to move. Okay, that's my CC. That's pretty normal. I know that. Underneath the target's HP shows its current golden okay, it's the body stat. golden shell thing time, again. Enemies with a broken golden body stat will become weak and fall to the ground, unable to fight back. The control action can effectively reduce the golden body stat to below the target's HP. Try to control the target to reduce its golden body stat. Ah, uh, I mean, it still doesn't really explain what this is, though. Like, uh, is this a PvE only mechanic? Because I have never seen this happen in PvP. Interrupting the target's casting skill can also massively reduce its golden body stat. Try to reduce the target's golden body stat by interrupting its song. By interrupting its song. The likelihood of smashing the golden body is pretty high for the control and interrupt abilities. Try to use the two skills together to smash your enemy's golden body. Mm-hmm. I guess let's keep spamming this or what? Yeah. And then 
Witch's Ritual. But I've never seen this effect at all. Oh, Ever shit, happened. I was muted this whole fucking time. <laughs> you were muted the whole fucking time. Yo, I missed flying in MMOs. You can restore HP for a team member and buff them. It is it is a really nice feature. Nice. With healing mastery you can restore HP. Wait, healing mastery? Oh fuck. That's for uh switching to occultist. This dude's name is Rainbow Pickle. Rejuvenating Lotus provides life and damage reduction effects for teammates within the skill range. And he's in Black Rose. Oh no, it's his right. So, perform three of this. Yeah, that's just the standard target heal, I guess. Hello, Neil. Um, and this is just. What target heal? Hello, Chase. You guys gonna say Drain anything? He was afraid by consuming a little of your own HP. Wait, what's uh, what'd you say? Wait, where, where are you even is this? I'm gonna have this on my skill bar. Oh, what's up, dude? I have to put this on my skill bar first. Mm. Alright, there you go. <laughs> sure. What are you playing, bro? Let's see. Let's, let's watch the stream. Stored by casting summon spirit growth. Um. Summon spirit growth. Put this on my skill bar as well. Where is that? This skill. I guess the healer spec uses MP instead of edge. In What's up, Chase? Using the healing action you learned, you can heal Cuckoo continuously until he defeats Bam Bam. I think you guys are playing a different gaming call. So I just muted it for now. Um, he healed. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, I, I, I just keep pressing one. Damn, I'm really gonna have to sit through it, do like 10 attacks. Does this spec have no actual attacks myself? Like, what if I just... Ah... Uh... I guess I'm just gonna have to wait this one out. This is probably the worst, worst tutorial so far. Finish him off. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so finish off this quest. That is so. And I think after this, I can continue. I don't need to do this. I think I can just go straight into the PvE to the PvP tutorial. And now, completion of a main Feng tournament. Okay, so this is where I need to just start immediately going into the queue. But first, let me switch back to my proper spec. Okay, and I have this new skill, Full Moon's Oath. All attributes increase by 10%. Wait, what is this? Is this something you can just casually use? 
No, this is one of those things where it was like the same thing with uh, Berserker. It doesn't let me use it for some reason. I guess I'll keep it here until I figure out what to do with it. Okay, so now we'll, uh, we try to duel against bots again. Personal matchmaking. DPS. Hmm. It's like the same thing as last time, right? Yeah, everyone is using the plus three PVE gears. Look, quality 65. What about this guy? Yeah, same thing. Hmm, I'm at, I actually wonder if these are bots. Because every player I've seen uses PvP gear, not PvE gear. Or all of these are PvE gears. I guess let's see what happens. What about what about the enemies? Yeah, these are all PvE gears. Because PvP gear you have 8k HP. Hmm. Alright. I don't know how to like what do I do though? How do I DPS in PvP? Bro, how do I DPS in PvP? What is this skill? When did I put this skill here? That's just my auto attack. Why is this here? Wait, why is this here? That's also my auto attack. That's weird. When did these skills get on my skill bar? Okay. I mean, that's not really a good experience, to be fair, but... Okay, I should, uh, go into Blueprint 2. Actually, no. I don't get everything right on the stars. I put, so I equip these gears first. And then I have to complete two more of these boss games with the PvP weapon. I wonder where they get these names from, though. Like... Do they just... take a real player's name, and then just put them in here? Also, US3, US4. There's only one server right now. I just noticed that. But that's also kind of weird. Alright. 
I'm guessing I'm supposed to win now. Because what I'm figuring out is that probably the first fight you're meant to lose. So then in the second fight, it's like they show you why you should use a PvP weapon, I guess. Still not really doing damage though, to be fair. Alright, that that's really terrible DPS. This DPS is still bad. Man. I don't get how I'm supposed to, like, actually kill, though, like this. Even what's the PvP weapon? Even with the PvP weapon, I'm not really able to do any damage. I guess most of the stats are going to be in the armor, because the armor also gives damage stats. Doing no damage here. I mean, I guess I can think this guy was the bot. Think this bot was the other bot. So stun him. Oh, he broke out of it. Yeah, I cannot. I, I just cannot. Like, technically, there's 65 gear score. I'm like 40 gear score right here. Let's just finish this off. Um, three more pieces. Equip that. Collect reward. Continue. Uh, 
And now I have to do one victory. I think I lost both fights so far. I think in this fight, do I get actual players? Hmm. No, I don't think so. These are all bots too, I think, because they're all 65 plus 3. I don't I have the wrong C. Then I put on the Twitch chat C. Wait, is this a, no that's still those are all bots. Am I fighting bots too? Yeah, these are all bots, I think. Oh or they could be players. I've seen players hide behind the wall. Oh, well, I guess I'm CC'd. I can't actually use anything while I'm cc like this. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? I don't think this class is like... I don't think I can be in there as much as often with this class compared to Berserker. Because I only have one CC break. And it's a much shorter CC immunity too. So I need to be... I need to isolate a single person instead. I think. So basically expected to win at this with like one weapon and three pieces of artifacts. 42 gear score versus 65 gear score. I guess that's fine. Just have to isolate I guess. how to do that. I'm gonna CC him, I guess. Try to burst him down. I'm only doing like 500s. I guess... I guess I can just DPS this guy down. And then support the other bot. I guess that strategy works. Let's just CC him. I 
need a better. I need a way to like regenerate the fucking incantation faster, though. Where did he go? Oh, he's he's in stealth. Okay. That seems to be more in line with how I guess the class should be played, but let's act let's upgrade the equipment now. Okay. Uh, I don't need to upgrade the shoes. Actually, I'm supposed to get my full gear set first. From here. And now I can equip everything. There we go. Wait, it didn't equip the second ring or the second uh, th earring. Okay, now I'm in full PvP. Uh, and I can put all of these back into the PvP specific set two. All right, now I'm using my PvP gear. Okay, so I will upgrade. What else was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I also need to put in some jades. Right. Um what was it? Shift click. No, shift click. Yeah, put in the jades. Uh was I supposed to put in blue or red? Physical strength? Um, yeah, I'll just put in red. It's fine. Although, maybe I shouldn't put this in right now because I'm supposed to get like better shades later on, or better, uh, I can like upgrade this to a level quality of level 60 weapon or equipment really quickly. So, I don't know if this is kind of a waste to put them in right now. But uh, let's just go with it. Collect the reward. And now I think I fight actual players. Probably. So let's try it. Or was there still two games of bots? Maybe there were still two games of bots. And then I fight players, I forget. Let's see let's see what my teammates are. No, I think these are bots still. Yeah, these are definitely still bots. Gear score 65. I'm gear score 50. So I technically my gear score is still lower, but I think with the PvP gear uh, specialization, it makes up for it, maybe. What about my competitors? Or my opponents? Yeah, I think all bots as well. Yeah, they definitely... Yeah, real players definitely move around at the start. Most of the time. How do I gain, like... I can't really prep incantation at the start. Oh no, it resets incantation when the match starts anyway, so... That's not really a thing. I guess... Focus the bard, right? Alright, 
guess I'll, I guess I'll just come back. And try to focus the bar. Yeah. The beta wolf, I'm I don't know if that's still armor. Still seems kind of suboptimal. Let's finish them off, fuck. I guess yeah, I guess I'm just dead. If I burned it, if I burn my one CC break. Huh. It's actually really hard to kill a bard. Because they go into the ice thing, and when they go out of it, they CC you. Okay, well, I have to win twice in order to continue with the faction war, so. Guess we just keep trying. Or probably this time. I need to uh, try to avoid having to burn my CC break. That's more like a last ditch mechanic. Or if I burn it, I don't have any recourse afterwards. Huh. But how do I get my incantation faster so I can cast War Moon? What does this do? Range of War Moon increase and hit targets are slowed. One morning light stack with a reinfected enemy. Uh, moon set. If Heart Eater de deals damage, I receive stacks. War Moon Darkness? Resting state War Moon hits a target, duration is reset. Uh, that's what I'm already using right now. I guess this if this guy come here I can just DPS him down. And then try and get back. Try and finish him off, I guess. C C C? Yeah, he's CC. I got I got him into CC. But now I don't have DPS. Where's my DPS? How do I finish him off now? Bro, I have no damage when I don't have my thing. Okay. Okay, I guess I... I need to kill that guy. But I'm just... I'm just dead now. Yeah, I don't- I can't- I can't move. I can't even move. Damn, what's going on? I mean, I guess I'll just put in the J's then, I might as well.
I can't even do anything against the boss. I think they must be taking real players' names and then just making the bot be that name. Alright, what do I do here? I guess I guess help the teammate? DPS. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have burned it, but it looks like the bots are dying anyways. So now I just have to kill this. I guess they see him and then DPS him down. Okay, so he's in the ice mode. Back away. Back into the ice mode, that's the second time. And then I guess I go for this CC now? I guess that's how you... That's how you beat bots at least. I have to do this a second time. Um, I remember at some point we got some real players, but maybe that was after finishing the tutorials. Yeah, maybe it was afterwards where we started queuing into real players. Or maybe if someone else is also doing the tutorial at the same time, then you queue with them. I guess I... What is going on here? I don't- I didn't reset in time. Now I can't reset. I, I missed my reset timing. I guess you see him so the bot doesn't die. Is that golden shell? But I pressed V and didn't do anything. Or I pressed my execute skill. I guess I do this. I have to kind of like do this to get close to him without dying. Okay, now I CC. Except the CC didn't work. Did I not, did I not press it? Oh. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I had to press tab to target him. Like that whole time I was attacking him, it wasn't actually targeted onto him, so I couldn't use my CC. Huh, it's actually kind of annoying then. Because you always have to make sure you're tabbing to the person you're trying to target. 
if you just like think that it auto targets for you, sometimes you might press the skill and it's just not go off because it didn't actually target them. Okay. Um, and get a new weapon. Yep, I remember this part. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't this one. Which one was it? It was this one. Buy the... This weapon. And equip it. Okay. Uh, complete. Alright, now I can do faction battle. But first, let me just enhance this real quick. Where is the blacksmith again? Fuck, what's on the other side? Okay. So the tutorial just goes straight into choosing a faction. That's good. Um, mysticism. I think that's the one we wanted to join. And uh, open the cultivation to collect my reward. I don't think these are the reward. These are what I could potentially get. These aren't what I got right now. I don't think. Yeah, that. Yeah, those. Those aren't what I got, but that's what I could get. Okay, so what? What do I do next? Um. So this is, I guess, a daily fight. What does this mean? Oh yeah, I remember there was a quest where I come here and then fight an AI. I forget what that was about. But people were saying that this place isn't even good for dueling. They were saying that Cloud Rise has, has a better dueling spot than this place. So why even advertise this place, I don't really know. But yeah, I, was, I think I was supposed to fight this guy. And then fight after this guy, kill the other guy. Or was I supposed to fight this guy first? Huh. I, I'm not even sure. Am I supposed to DPS him down, though? If I'm CC'd and all. Can I chain stun? No, I couldn't. I couldn't chain stun. I don't know how stun chain works in this game. Was I yeah, I was supposed to fight that guy, and then... Who else was, was I supposed to fight? I was also supposed to fight this guy. Maybe? Maybe I should have meditated first. I also remember this guy being easier than the other guy. I remember this guy was being easier than the other guy. Which is weird. Okay. I think that was it for this quest. Yeah, I don't really know what that was about, though. It's kind of random, just fight uh, two AIs. Um, and I get like PvP seal stones and stuff. Okay, so now, 
I guess the only thing now is to just take a look at um, the faction battle. Then you're recruiting for 5v5? Nope. Battle of the Continent is still the same. So wait, is that it? Is that all that, that we have for faction? There's like... I'm like completely done here. There isn't even really a dedicated place to, for me to go to the faction. Collect all. Huh. I mean, I get some PV, P and PvE steel stones. I guess I get a mount. Some cooldown reset. Uh, what do these even do? Oh, gives me more HP. I guess I'll just take this. That's just a collectible. Wait, so how do I get into the faction PvP then? Huh. It's not here. It's not this. Actually, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is some like NPC favor or, or something like that. Is it prestige? It's not prestige. So if it's not under PvP, what is where this faction under? Alliance? No, that's not it. Bitter? Nope. Hmm. Okay, that's actually kind of confusing. Valley of Echoing Blades. It's located 400 miles southeast, but the Empress' influence reached the far away. Covered in Sochi, which produced mysterious dragon sun gold. Is that the faction? Because it has that symbol. Um. Damn. Okay, so we already know it's not these three. I don't see anything here. For faction, at least. I mean, sure, we have... Arena queue. Oh, wait, I remember in here we had, like... One thing where we can... Hmm... This is a teleport. There was there was something I can do here that lets me flag for faction combat, I thought. But I, I don't even see that. It's not... Oh, wait. Oh, no, man. It is here. It is here. So I can flag for faction PvP. Am I flagged right now or am I not flagged? How do I tell? I guess I press this. And what happens? Open or well, open or close. That's very helpful. You can at least tell me if it's opening or closing. Okay, now it's on. Okay, so that's how you tell. When you have the glowing symbol up here. Press the faction mode in the general scan skill menu. Okay. So upon entering faction areas such as Valley of Echoing Blades. Okay, so from that we know this is the faction war zone. So how do we get here? We can get here from Cloud Rise? Or we can go get there... Hmm... I'm guessing we have to spawn down here, actually. Okay, so it's auto-passing. But to where? 
What's the auto path thing to? Oh no, that's not the auto path. That's where the quest is taking me. But where am I auto pathing to? Is it? No, it's just it's just this is passing by. Okay, wait. It's, I think it's actually taking me all the way to Cloud Rise. Yeah, I'm definitely going to Cloud Rise. So where am I going now? I guess I teleport from the map. That's where I'm supposed to teleport from. Okay. Okay, I'm here now. So what happens now? Initiation ceremony. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. I didn't even know this is quest. Was this here all along? Hmm. Was this here the whole time? I don't know. Okay. I guess these are the killable NPCs. Good. I don't want to impress anything on you, but remember the Yo, are you stupid? Good. Now say hello to the divine statue. I'm getting all these EXP, but I'm already capped. What do I do here? Stand? And bow. Bow by- What the fuck? That's a- That's not helpful at all. How do I bow? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Social? No. Bro, am I actually- do I actually have to Like, don't tell me I have to put up a hockey just so I can bow. I'm actually gonna have to change my hockey just so I can bow for this one quest. You've got to be kidding me. Where even is the bow button? in this thing anyways. Is this system? I remember there was a there was an emoji. Or emote, maybe. Uh Okay, that's actually kind of annoying. Action still. Numeric pad underscore? No, that's not it. Martial artist. I don't know what that is even. What even is martial artist? Is this what I need? No, that's not it. Brock. I actually can't believe this is the quest that I'm gonna get stuck on. Emotes. Okay, what what key have I not used? This key. And now where's where's Bell? 
I'm guessing it's Reaper greeting. Oh my god, that was way harder than it needed to be. Okay. Seeing as you've already joined mysticism, you need to familiarize yourself with the Jahu ancestral temple. So the furnace mustn't be unsupervised. I'm guessing it's gonna tell me the objectives. What the fuck? Where where did they What? Where did she go? Here? Damn, why why is this more convoluted than it has to be? Why not just give me a quest to go to the next place? This was the NPC, right? I don't even know if this was the same person. I think it is, because this is initiation ceremony. Okay, so this is going to give me a bird's eye view. Well, I guess it's a forced cutscene, but sure. I guess, supposedly, I'll know about the map now. Uh, <laughs> That wasn't really too helpful. I, I I did not catch anything she just said, to be perfectly honest. Now, are we landing? <laughs> That was a terrible t bird's eye view. I did not see shit. The healing hall, automation hall, and training hall. I, I'm guessing she's just gonna be there. If she's just going to be there, I'm just going to run ahead of her. I mean, she's still running. What if I get there first? Oh. Why? How come this time we have to wait for her to run all the way over here? Oh, no, wait. She's here. Oh, I guess there's just two of her. It is what it is. Okay, repair the magic switch, but why? What did this do? The pleasant sensation you came through to the demon parasite power begins to fade. What sort of formation? Uh... Three seeds, power zero is strong and power powerful, peaceful. Thank you. No, oh no, that, that this did not really help at all. This is the map. Okay, this has not been helpful at all. It's using like lore speak. <laughs> I just want to know like. Just tell me in terms of in-game mechanic at this point. So so that's the healing hall, right? This is the healing hall, according to the map. Which means... 
I'm assuming I get a buff that heals me if I'm in here, but I don't see anything. Um, and up there is the training hall. I guess I can go check that out. Actually, can I fly here? No, I can't fly here, so I might as well just walk this run. Well, this is exactly the same. So I'm confused. I'm assuming there's supposed to there's supposed to be objectives to complete. Or am I just completely mistaken how this whole thing works? Do you just kill each other and that's it? But in fact I don't even really see anything indicating the current war status. This is the automation hall. Okay, so that's also exactly the same thing. In fact, so far this has just looked like a regular map. I'm not really seeing anything special yet, but I guess we're about to find out. I'll be right back. Just a quick be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm still not sure where we're supposed to go. I guess I'll go in the middle, see what's up. But this whole time, I'm not seeing any sort of fights. Uh, well, actually, the fight is probably here, right? If there is any fight. Hmm. Dragon Sound Selectmites. Okay, so here are friendlies, and there's people from the other faction killing. I don't, I don't really get it. Should we be killing the guards? Or the Ancestral Temple students, should we be killing them? No. Yes, maybe? 
Can I even kill them? They're taking no damage. They have 92k HP. They're like mini bosses in their own right. Okay, well, the junior student has AK only. Maybe I can kill them? But why? Do I get anything from this? Nothing? I don't think that did anything for me at all. I'm actually pretty confused. Like, some of these I can't attack, some of these I can attack. So that's why I'm kind of thinking that we're supposed to protect some things and kill other things. Because, see, we have junior students, senior students, they have senior students and junior students. But is that it? Damn, how am I supposed to fight this? I'm, st I'm not- I'm still not doing any damage. Am I comboing wrong? I mean, this seems to be the highest burst damage, right? Because with hard either stack, I have war moon damage increase. Um, it was, you know, it was four stacks. See, what's this? Like, immediately get four stacks, and this gives me 42% damage increase when I have four stacks. And then this lets me do another 60% increase. Well, actually, it's only 25% in PvP, but still. And then this gives me more edge. So, no reason not to have that. And then this gives me. More better Dustbringer? Yeah, it gives me more damage when I'm in Dustbringer, so. So I teleported here. I guess this is a safe zone? Wait, it's not. What? I don't get it. We both spawned here, even though this is in the safe zone. Oh, I, get, I got one combat spirit point. It says here, receive one combat spirit point. I'm not sure why I can check that, though. I think it's here, actually. I don't get it then. I just get attacked as soon as I teleport. 
А? Wait, what? So, so you just get attacked as soon as you teleport. What? These guards do nothing. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What is going on? Bro, this map is so confusing. Why is there a respawn point, but it's all guarded? And how come... How come those guards attack me, but the, these guards don't attack them? What? Wait, I'm, I'm actually... This is so confusing. What is going on? And now I'm rooted? What? Nothing is explained at all. I guess we have some of their students killing our students. But these are the 6k HP ones, so that's not really useful at all. Was there a respawn point I didn't activate? I just got six rid of the continent somehow. Rally of Echoing Blades. What if I... What if I go here? That didn't... Huh? Wait, what just happened? I mean, like the same place, but all the NPCs are gone. And in fact, none of the uh, none of the mobs aggro anymore. I'm assuming I'm not supposed to go there. I'm just gonna go back, I guess. Let's see what's going on here. Doesn't look like anyone else knows what's going on either. Wait. In fact, just me being here. I'm earning points. You see this? I'm earning points. What what are these points though? Um It's not that. Like these points are completely different from combat spirit earn golems and complete points blade echo it's not in my quest
I don't even know where this point is being tracked. What? That was it? I guess uh, we we engaged now. Uh, okay, he died. I'm getting rid of the continents for killing these mobs now. All of a sudden, I don't know what changed. Or or did we're stuck for killing the two people? The two players. I can't really tell the difference. I guess we killed a senior student. He's actually still not dead. I guess kill this guy first. I'm not really getting anything from this, I don't feel like. Yeah, I don't see the point. Why kill the, why kill the garden student? doing damage though even even in this mode I guess I killed him like that I guess that's a confirmed kill, and I get two more, or six more, rid of the continents. Is that all I'm getting? No, I also got one combat spirit point. Yeah, I'm also getting, I also got one combat spirit point for that one kill. Damn. get this though oh wait there's a button here
What does that do? Now I'm all the way back here? I never activated this respawn point either. Maybe I try to do the 5v5. Apparently people are queuing up for that right now. Let me take a quick look at that. How do I join? I guess this is how I join. Your source 50 on land of emerald clouds. Okay. Looks like we're queuing. Well, do some people have. Some people are at what? We already have quality 60 here. Where did they get these from? From doing uh, 1v1s? Or from Faction War? No, I think these are Faction War gears, right? Or are these 1v1 gears? Or dual gears? Not 100% sure on that one. In the meantime, how can I remove this? I don't really care about uh, treasure hunting. But it doesn't look like I can. We're still waiting for Q. Honestly, I feel like the biggest problem is the fact that you have to not only have five teams of five, but you have to queue in as a team of five. Like, I don't see why we can't just make this auto, uh, auto match, auto matchmaking. Like, why do you have to queue in as a team of five? If you can have auto matchmaking for 15 versus 15, you can have auto matchmaking for 5v5s. I don't, I don't think that's a technolo technology issue. I just don't know why they didn't implement it. And then I think on this, I can actually join a different faction on this character. Yeah, I can join red in one faction. Oh wait, I have to leave the team in order to join the faction? Whatever. I guess I won't do that. I'm in queue right now. Yeah, I'm sure more people would queue. If only there was matchmaking for this mode. Oops. 
You have got to be kidding me. Do I break my gear from dying to that? Oh my god. I swear, they put this in here just to troll. Just to troll you. Alright, in the meantime... I did hear that there was supposed to be... A place to duel. In here. Somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I remember in CBT1, when the, they were doing a dev stream for the 5v5, I think they waited for like 15 minutes and no one queued. That was just pretty sad. So I wonder what our luck will be with Zelda dev stream. There's like 3,000 people watching the dev stream and still no one was queuing. I guess muted the entire day? What do you mean? I've been here, I've been here. Unmuted. Uh, you can't even hear me, right? So... How am I muted? I mean... OBS is saying that uh, my voice is uh, registering, so it doesn't look like I'm muted. Why are you saying SMH? You thought I was AFK this whole time? No, I, I finished leveling up to 37. But you guys were talking about uh, other things. So I uh, just went ahead and tried to find PvP instead. You were talking about solo? Uh, not when I was there. That's why I left. Carol, I'm mute. On Discord, I guess. What's up? Not much. Yeah, see, I was here the whole time. You guys were just uh, talking about off topic. So I waited for you guys to finish. Bro, we always talk about off topic. Nah. This is, this is general chat. Well, I can't find a 5v5. What's going on? How long have you been looking? It's, uh, almost eight minutes. There's supposedly four teams queued up already, according to people on the world chat. So I don't know who we're missing still. I just don't think there's enough players right now for this to work. 5v5 is one thing. Needing four teams of five is another thing. Well, the game seems pretty populated. Yeah, but no matter how populated it is, 
it's gonna be hard to get 20 people no 25 people to uh form their own team you know like for 15 versus 15 we have matchmaking and even that is like five to ten minute queues but for this it's like 20 people but everyone needs to form their own teams of five which doesn't make any sense yeah that's pretty cringe like if you can have 15 versus 15 30 people and get them auto matched then why can't you get 20 people or 25 people auto matched it's, it's the same concept we literally just need the matchmaking and i think this would work way more smoother maybe uh just you... most people haven't made it to 37. Well, I just don't think there's enough people who are in the beta right now to not only uh, be queuing for PvP, but also be willing to, like, wait up to 30 minutes trying to manually form teams instead of having an actual working auto matchmaking. Like, when we have 15 versus 15, Sure, like 5 to 10 minutes, that's fine. But that's 5 to 10 minutes for an auto match. Now we don't even have auto match. Can't kill when you gotta do tutorial PvP. Where is, uh, where is Van? Van said that he's not gonna play this week. He's gonna play Assassin's Creed instead. Oh, GG. I thought he liked the game. Nah, he rather play Assassin's Creed, man. What can I say? It is what it is, as he uh, always claims. Two more parties of I queue up. We don't even know how many teams are queuing. Been 11 minutes sitting in queue. I don't think this is really gonna be a thing in the closed beta, at least. Probably have to wait for the open beta for things to even be viable, and then maybe they can implement matchmaking at some point. Like not having a matchmaking for 25 people is just a huge uh, step backwards in today's day and age. Like, where everyone's expecting there to be auto queue, auto matchmaking, and actually, I think I've been to everywhere in Cloud Rise. I still haven't found the training ground. I'm not where gonna lie. It? What? Lost Ark's uh, teleport system is very. It's very convenient. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This game doesn't really have a teleport. I think I mean, technically you can use the Cirrus Drive, which I think lets you teleport once every 90 minutes. I think that's what it does. Yeah, that's how it teleport once every 90 minutes. The thing is, it's, I think it's kind of trying to pretend to be an open world game when it isn't. Damn, they requeued for matchmaking. Q is messed up, requeue. Okay. Okay, people decide to requeue. Maybe it wasn't Cloud Rise where people said the duel was? It was supposedly an NPC that resets your cooldown, which makes dueling good somewhere in one of the place. But I don't remember where. Wait. Where, how did I even get this item?
Wait, there's an appearance score? I have 772 appearance score. What the fuck is an appearance score? <laughs> Maybe bad translation. Nah, this is very well was in Chinese to uh, have a score for how good you look. <laughs> it's very on point. Maybe it's similar to social credit score. Based entirely upon... Maybe it affects your RNG. Damn. Damn, I guess uh, my team gave up. Hey, what's up, Anthony? We're trying to queue for 5v5, but... We need, we need, like... We need to form five teams of five manually. And that's just not happening, it looks like. That was like a 15 minute queue and no and uh supposedly according to world chat there was like four teams queuing so that's 20 people but since five other people need to form their own teams of five that's just impossible in a closed beta maybe once it goes uh, open open beta or it's just released might be we might have better luck Um, I don't know if anyone else is queuing at this point, but if not, I guess I go back to Reaper and try to figure out how to play Reaper. I mean, uh, let me just double check here real quick. I think they said that I can join two different guilds on two different or two different faction on two different characters. So I joined Mysticism on my Reaper. Oh, and it looks like it's correct. I can join, and I can join Heaven's Child on my Berserker. Wait, that's OP. Okay. So you can you can play both sides, so you're always on top. <laughs> that, it's like always, that meme. We're always on bottom. <laughs> well, that's maybe one thing I really liked about Perf World, you can be in different guilds. I mean, maybe being on top is. It, it, maybe being on the bottom is part of being on top for you, depending on how you roll, you know. So, uh, yeah, I guess back to Reaper, because I don't, I think people aren't queuing anymore. If someone advertises. I will go back and try again, but I'm going to try Reaper for now. And this whole faction versus faction thing, that's also equally confusing. Chase, let's play Mobile Legends. Damn, I guess you guys are talking about Mobile Legends now. I am all, I am almost challenger on Mobile Legends. Wait, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Chase. But Chase isn't here. He's in the stream, he can hear me. Chase is in the stream? Yeah, he's watching your stream. Damn, is he? I, he didn't say anything. All right, so I'm trying to figure out right now 
What exactly is the objective of this faction PvP map? And I was trying to figure out how to kill people on Reaper at the same time. Also, why is this safe zone so big? I have to run all the way back. Can't even fly here. Oh, wait, there's a waypoint here. Maybe I should have activated that. So, like, I guess that's a player there. I guess I tried killing him. This is not like not doing really, any, not really doing any damage for me. Okay, I don't, I don't get, I don't get this at all. How are you supposed to DPS? I'm only hitting like 500s. So I think we're supposed to move that thing. But I don't know why I always teleport back here though. Maybe there should be another respawn point it's over here that I'm supposed to activate. Wait, is that guy? What is that guy? He's level 13 and he's here. Well, our team just got wrecked. Where is anyone else? We don't even have anyone else here. Bro, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I actually don't get it. What am I missing here? Well, no, we are frost. Damage of light of silence is increased by fifty percent. Except I don't know what light of silence is. Stores a certain percent of damage done. The cooldown conversion rate of light of silence is. Increased. So I guess I can burst harder with this.
Maybe I'll use that. I think I should actually activate the point on the other side, though. So then I'm not always uh, respawning over there when I die. I respawn on the other side as well. War Moon consumes three incantation, hits the target that three heart eater stacks. Receives one stack of the Moth Cloud effect. Maybe I should try this. And then what do we have here? Range of War Moon is increased and hit targets are slowed. Will War Moon that hits target are hit infected with Heart Eater? Or if Heart Eater deals damage, I receive Moonset Darkness. I don't know, maybe I try this. Oh, I think I can respawn here actually. I think that's better. And cannot in combat duration extended by seven seconds. Um Yeah, I don't really know. I guess this lets me, if I stack three times, then I can do 1,972 damage to him. Of hard either. And then I can also do life and death. Summons the seal, which causes 1,273 1, damage? How does this work? I guess that needs a target, so I can't test it right now. I guess the more time I use my uh, Heart Eater or War Moon, the more damage this de uh, this skill deals. That's kind of nice, I guess. Not sure if that's the best. That's the use case for it. Also, I don't. What am I even doing here? We're just bringing the golem back. I guess we'll see what happens once I reach 800 points. fuck was that about? That was pretty scuffed. Or 
Wait, where did he go? Yeah, we're just killing the senior students, but why? I still don't know what we really get from killing these. Hmm. That wasn't really it. We're not even getting anything from killing these uh, student mobs. I think we should really be escorting the stone thing, the stone figure ring, whatever that is. I guess I'm about to reach 800 and see what happens. Tutorial completed. That was a tutorial? Blade Chime. It became harder and harder to find dragons on gold in the Valley of Echoing Blade. Both seven children misses a new secret message to fight for the gold. Another ritual dragon has appeared. Both sides fought. If you stay in the circle around the statue, receive plus three quest progress every five seconds. Interact with your statue to speed it up. Interact with another player statue to stop it. Plus 20 quest for progress each time I interact if I defeat enemy player, I receive 20 to the 100. Um, so literally, that entire thing was just for this. And I get combat spirit. Some PvP steel stones. Honestly, this mode is really bad right now. This mode has been really bad right now. What else am I getting? What do I even do with all these uh, combat spirit anyways? I guess I can buy gear, but how? Receive gear. Jewelry merchant. Huh. But I'm literally just PvE. Like you can just do this all day, I guess, by yourself. No with no one contesting you. Or can I do this all day? Wait, I'm not getting anything now. So what happens if I still bring it back? Nothing? Each suit is going to work to 5 mission progress points. I guess I'm pulling a demon evil with spiritual power. That's what it is. I don't think I'm getting anything anymore. Because I'm already done the quest.
I don't really get the point of this content right now. All right. What's up? I will be back after NBA. All right, watching NBA every day. Jeez. You guys, I nudge it. No, it's gonna be damaged if there's too much so for us. Oh. Hello? Hey, what's up? Doing, bro. I mean, I'm tr I'm trying to like figure out what this uh, stone statue is actually gonna do now that I completed my daily quest. Like, is, is this is pointless now? It's the whole reason that I'm here. It's just to do that one quest. Cause that's what it looks like right now. Like no one's even contesting us. It's not even really PvP right now. We're just literally walking with this mob. Okay, that's that was just pointless. I guess I get healed, but. Oh, I got 15 combat spirit from that. I guess every time it goes back, you get 15 combat spirit. But do I... Like, is that really the best way to get combat spirit, though? Every time you kill something, you get one combat spirit. I guess you might as well PvP if you really want to farm combat spirit. That just seems so inefficient and slow. The only reason to do that would be to get the daily quest done. But now it's like no one's even really... PvP. It looks like everyone's done the daily quest now. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about this content, man. Yeah, there's literally no one here now. You know what? Let's let's just do 15 versus 15. Try and see how to play this class instead. This is not working out for me at all right now. All right. So I have it set up in a way where I want to stack Heart Eater. Because if I stack Heart Eater three times, I can hit him with War Moon. And then if I hit him with War Moon three times, after stacking three times, I do like 190, 1,973 damage. Let's try that on this mob. Hello? Let's try that on this mob. Okay. Was that good though? Doesn't. Mm. Oh wait. I have to do that. I have to do that another time. No, it turns into Moth Cloud. I don't know if that's really good, though. And then on top of that... Uh, range of warming is increased by 2 and hit targets are slowed. Or, if Hard Eater deals damage, I receive Moonstead Darkness 2 times. And if Moth Poison deals damage, then I receive 15 layers of Moonstead Darkness for every stack. So 100 sets... And I can trigger War Moon Darkness, except I don't know what War Moon Darkness does.
What does War Moon Darkness do? Uh I need like 100 stack of that. I'm at like 174. Get how to fight us this class. And I'm doing I'm doing like no damage, I don't get it. I don't get how you're supposed to use this skill even. I don't think this is good though. I, it takes so long to build up 100 stacks to get that buff. You will see one more new light stack for every infected enemy, which increases attack warm. I think this is just better. And what does this do? Increased conversion layer. Cooldown for Wheel of Frost is increased within 8 seconds of casting Wheel of Frost. Cooldown for Hard Eater is reduced. So this is just... Better for like DLT. But no, I don't want that because I want to use War Moon. Actually no, I don't use Wheel of Frost. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. I don't get how you steal some of these skills. And then in combat status inspiration. See, this is for Heart Eater, because this is definitely goes with this buff. But it this needs four Heart Eater stacks to do anything. So I should be using this, but I don't know how to use this. Damn, finally some PvP. Uh, yeah, then I don't know how to use the marionette buff either. Wait, what do you have 11k HP? Why not? I mean 15 versus 15. Do you get upscaled? Because mm -hmm. you're berserk, AK. No, I mean 15 versus 15 right now, not the uh, 3v3. Ah, uh, so it does get upscale. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you don't really have to farm if you don't want to. I don't get how you play this class though. Damn. It's like, uh, capture the, uh, things. Damn. Only 100 damage. I don't- I don't get how you play this class. How- how's he healing this much? Damn, this guy just healed the fool. Wait. Is he a re- Reaper? 
I don't even know how you tell what classes people are. <laughs> Damn. Maybe need to, uh... Wait, this guy's an undead Potos. Damn. See, Re Reaper... Reapers probably have the scythe. So that's not really... This isn't really doing any damage for me. At all. Damn. Wonder why. What the fuck? You can run on water? Why not? Damn. Journey to the West vibes. What the fuck? Frozen, I guess. Life and death. I really don't get how you use that skill. Damn, this is the pro player. I I don't I don't get it. Damn. That's a pro player. I don't really get how you're supposed to play this class, though. Damn, he went stealth. I guess that's what stealth looks like. That's pretty good. Damn, frozen. Wait, he's a he's a reaper too. Yeah, he is. Damn. How come he can't freeze you? I don't even know what he's using. Bruh. The, the other Reaper does no damage I as well. I, I don't get it. This Blade guy does more damage. Bro, I don't, I, don't, I don't get what's going on. How do you play this class? Maybe need to one v one. Is this the bat spec? Is this a bat spec? Damn. Wait, is your berserker out of prison? Was it uh, still stuck in prison? He's out of prison. Damn. Bro, how long is the CC? What the fuck even was that? I don't think this is viable though, because I have to like stack it three times in a row just to do like some burst damage, like a uh, 2k damage. This Devo kid's still not dead. Bruh. Damn, he's about to die. I Damn, didn't know what's, I didn't know what's died. going on. What do you mean? It's just mass gank.
Like, what, what is happening right now? <laughs> I'm not really doing any damage to anyone. I can't even tell if I'm really hitting anyone. What? Don't you see the numbers? Like you did 300 damage to that guy. I, I, can't, I can't really tell if I'm hitting anyone. How did I even kill that guy? I don't even know how I killed him. You, you killed him with 115. Yeah, I can't, oh, I can't really have. tell if I'm hitting anyone. I don't think I'm really doing any damage. Like, what even is going on? Is there stats after this? Like, how much damage you do, how much? Yeah, of course. No? Nice. Yeah, what class is this? It's the Berserker? Oh, it's the Berserker. Yeah, I... I'm not doing anything, what the fuck? Damn, they say auto trash talk. He literally just said goodbye forever. Maybe I should go back to my other spec. I guess so. Uh, maybe I go back to this spec. I don't know if that's actually... Like, I, I don't get it. I'm, I wasn't doing any damage with either or spec. I only did like 25k. 25k? Wait, is that number 2 rank? I, only, I, 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 did, I did 25k. Damn. Uh, right. I guess I just, I just, I just try this night for now. All right, be right back. I mean, in theory, if I stack this three times, I should do 2k, but it doesn't feel like that's happening anytime soon. And this, if I hit a target and fix was hard eater, that's not working either. This is the only thing that I wasn't sure. Maybe, maybe this is useful? I'm not sure though. I can try this. Because if Hardy Dream or Moss Poison deals damage, there's a 30% chance of regenerating 20 points of edge. I mean, that's okay, but... It's not, not that reliable. It's only a chance. So maybe with that, I switch to Marinetted. Maybe this is actually useful? I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Uh, where would I even... Where can I go to like Yeah get PvP though? No one's PvPing here. Actually. Maybe I just go back to like Go to one of the open world maps. Try and see if I can PK anyone who's potentially doing a faction who has faction flags up.
And we only have like 30 minutes before um, PvP ends today, so we better go fast. Let's try to on foothills. I'm flagged for faction PvP right now. Let's see if I can find anyone on the world map. In fact, I don't see anyone even here. I guess if I fly, it will be easier to find people. Hmm, where would someone be right now if they were in a faction? And they were flagged. Let's try the snow place. Or maybe here. Valley of 100 grasses. Actually, no, not Valley of 100 grasses. Uh, Shanghai grassland. They could be there. Hmm. This is also mysticism. I need someone from the opposite faction? Like that guy. Except... I can't. Wait, why can't? What? Oh, no, now I can. This reminds me of the uh, the uh, Overwatch ability, where the Chinese lady turns into a like an ice popsicle. Bro, why am I not doing any damage to this? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. There. Like based on based on what it's saying, I have I have to correct the combination. If Wormung hits the target, which which has for hardy attack is forty two percent, when I use this, it's twenty five percent boost, and this is one hundred fifteen percent boost. What am I missing? Marinette. I mean, it gives Heart Eater stacks. For, tar for targets was already three Heart Eater stacks and increases the damage, okay, sure, but... I mean... Damn, he's telling you to mock healers. It's not like... I, like, I, I don't, I don't get it. What the fuck does mark healers even mean? I don't know. Ask him. I have no idea what he's even talking about. Ask him.
Like, I have no idea what is even going on. I guess I'll just capture the other points. I don't see a point in trying to contest Earth. What do you mean? The time to feed is now. I'm gonna go to fire. Damn. Overlord. Like, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything. How do you heal? Do you have to meditate? I'm just gonna run away. There's a surging here now, so. Damn. <laughs> Fuck it. Damn, it's still taking damage. Damn, he just got chunked. I'm just gonna kite back. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Oh. GG. Damage over time OP, I guess. I, d I don't get what's just happened. Maybe you should ask, uh, what's his, Why? what's his name? Dama... Fucking... Dama Zakato. Since Sama Zakato? He's not playing Reaper. Yeah. We only but have does, water. Doesn't he know, like, why people don't do damage? Like, I thought he was a pro player. Yeah, he's a pro player. But he doesn't play Reaper. He plays Berserker. Yeah, but then he, he would also know why Reaper does no damage. Because being a pro player, you have general knowledge. Uh... I don't think so. Damn, they're not a pro player. You don't really need knowledge to be a pro player. What? Yeah. What is this? Knowledge is actually overrated. Intentional diss. Intentional diss to pro players. No, I'm, saying not dissing, that I'm not dissing pro players, I'm dissing myself. Because I didn't really need any knowledge to kill people on Ninja on BDL. Damn. Maybe you want a pro player. Yeah, but uh, other pro players, you know, they they died to me. So maybe no one was a pro player on BDO. Damn. I think if I kill someone, they probably aren't a pro player since I wasn't a pro player either. But in the end, no one really knew how to do I damage. guess you could beat people with ninja without knowing what the other classes do. Yeah. That's pretty OP. You probably just CC them like for the entire duration. That's why they died. I mean, that's kind of how you're supposed to do it. Damn. Don't need to understand what the other class do when you just disable the other class anyway. That's pretty next level. I don't get how he's doing, like, all other people are doing, like, 4k on me instantly. Whereas I'm, like, doing 500s per hit. Just slowly. <laughs> Good question indeed. I guess first I meditate to get full health, and then I help him. I'm 
this guy running by, he's like, what the hell is this kid doing? Damn. Damn, just gets out. <sighs> what am I supposed to do though? Sword focus. Wait, why is this guy taking a lot of damage? This auntie show. I'm just not doing anything. Damn. I guess, uh, probably just go fire or iron. That's what we need right now. Damn, I guess you can fall into the water. You have not Yo, mastered the why, why running wouldn't you be, water. Why wouldn't you be able to fall into the water? Because you're meant to run on water. Dude, see, th that that's a, this is just not doing anything. Unfortunate. I don't I don't get it. The like shadow. what? Like what is what is this? <laughs> what is this though? Pretty sure I'm comboing correctly according to the skill description. What am I missing? I, can... uh, I guess we need irons. No one's defending iron. Damn. If you go in stealth, does your icon still show on the minimap? Damn, this guy's a big ass sword. I don't think you took any damage. Unfortunate. I'm so confused right now. Was also doing way more damage than me somehow. I guess I'll queue again. Damn, did you check the gears? I don't need to. Why? Because I don't need to. Damn, but there's a reason why you don't need to. Well, there is a reason, but I could be wrong. 
But even if That's I'm wrong, reason. it doesn't matter. Brah. Because I'm not gonna check it either way. The reason is, it's gear maxed. So why bother checking their gear? Damn. I'm gonna try going to... How do I get to Shanghai Grassland? I guess I can get there from... Cloudrise? Wait, I can't actually get from Zonan Foothills to Shanghai Grasslands though. I don't see a portal. Shanghai City, Cloud Rise, Cloud Rise. Yeah, how am I actually supposed to get here? Huh, that's weird. Let's try using this skill to get there. Okay, that works. Try and see if there's any, like, people from the other faction that I can just 1v1 in the open world. Uh, I'm assuming people are probably going to be doing quests around here, I think. Because this is kind of probably the next place to go after you've done all everything. Let's go around and take a look. Damn. Where, what is this? Why is this guy... Ah, oh, that's him. This guy is same guild. Same faction. Damn. PvP is gonna end in like 4 minutes. I might as well queue for a uh, 3v3 at the same time. Ah, for some reason there's no one here right now. Last time I tried to come here, there was a lot of people. Or was it here? No, it was definitely here. I'm pretty certain it was here. Last time I tried to come over and do some uh, rampage. Or actually, where did I even rampage last time? Huh. No one's questing right now. Damn. Sad soul in the Qinyan estate. But no players. Guess I should add myself as a sad soul. No cues are popping. I don't even see anyone on the map, actually. So... I guess I can try going to... Floral Palace? What is Floral Palace? 
don't even know where that is. In fact, this place isn't even marked on my map. What the hell is Floral Palace? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Is this an unreleased part of the game? Because I'm not teleporting anywhere. The heck? I don't get it. Uh, I guess we go back to Cloud Rise. With the PvP queue ending, we go back to Cloud Rise and, uh, go to Valley of Echoing Blades and see if there's you know, anyone there, maybe. Oh, wait, the queue just popped. Hmm. I guess uh, last duel for the night, or last 3v3 for the night. Now this time it's real players for sure. I'm pretty sure the first time it's bots. So we have a dissonance, we have a summoner. Okay, so what's the strat? What do I do? Wait, what the fuck? Am I stuck? I did only, yeah, I did no damage. I'm doing nothing. Why am I under DPSing so much? I guess I can leave my daily matchmaking. For the guarantee. And now... Now the queue is over. I guess I go back to Cloud Rise. See if any of us have faction battles. But I'm only getting like... I get like one combat sphere per kill in faction battle. I don't know if that's actually even worth or not. Almost feels like it doesn't though. Whereas I think I'm pretty sure every time I win, I get 60 for doing 15 versus 15. And I don't know what the reward is for winning in 3v3. What was it? Like...
80 for winning 3v3. So... If there's no one at the faction battle, then I guess that would be it for today, because nothing else to do without PvP. So I guess let's take a quick look and see. I don't think there really even is a faction PvP specific shop. The like, combat spirit is shared between like all PvP. I think anything to do with combat spirit, or anything to do with PvP is combat spirit. At least I'm pretty sure they're my interpretation is somewhat correct. I'm gonna go straight there with Eclipse. See if anyone's here. Two people on our side. Yeah, there's there's no one here even. Like I guess it's just not that rewarding. Cause pretty much you're just like literally just fighting a lot across this straight uh whatever this like river or whatever, whatever. Like that that this river is the entire battleground. Which is not nearly as much as big as the map would have you believe. What does this do? The fuck? I don't know what that even did. Uh, what about this side? You know, this side is their respawn point, and the other side is our respawn point. So they're basically like going from this direction all the way over there. That's like the PvP area. Yeah, there's nothing that back there to be interested in. And similarly, what's on this end? Uh, I think this end, yeah, this end is just the waterfall. Actually, we're not even fighting across the river, fight literally like fighting downstream of a waterfall. This is our battleground. Yep. Now the question is... What's the point of the rest of the map? Like, what if I sneak into their base? What's the worst that could happen? A tournament stake? Wait, what? You can hold a tournament here or something? This doesn't do shit. These are all... 
I mean, these are the same students that we that's like out there. So I don't think killing them right now really does me anything. Or does it? No, this is just the same senior student from out on the out on the field. I think they're really just guards. I think. I don't think they're like really gaining anything out of killing them. I don't know if there's specific NPCs that might be worth killing though. Like what if he killed these specific NPCs? What would happen? Nothing really. And I'm losing all my HP doing that. From this guard, yeah. There really wasn't any reason to do that. I got nothing from it. I guess let me heal here. Before I go explore any further. What else we got? More NPCs. Uh, I don't know. I feel like faction battle is not really well thought out so far. Like, you have this huge map, but what for? Like, if we could, like, siege the other faction's base, you know? <laughs> if I just kill this guy, won't well, he say FK? He's actually tanking me all AFK. Why is my damage, like, that bad? Okay, I'm, I'm actually doing something wrong with this class, I feel like. <laughs> okay, I killed the AFK guy and I actually got... Combat Spirit and 6 uh, Rid of the Continents. But I feel like I'm definitely doing something wrong. How is it possible that I'm, like, taking so long to kill someone who's AFK? Like, my stats are correct, I'm pretty sure. Damn. 
There's too many guards. I need to get out of here. Uh, maybe this wasn't really the best place to go. But this is? Wait. What the fuck is down here? There's like a whole fucking hidden place. This place is huge. But what is it all for? Oh, you can't go there. Hmm. Nothing's back here. Damn, this map is actually huge, but why? What else is there to do other than like... Yeah, like what else is there to do? Other than the fight that will, uh, for one golem in the middle. What is this huge map for? It's what I don't get right now. I mean, that's, that's not the best idea. What if I summon my companion here? Bro, you can't summon your companion here? Why is that a thing? That's so random. Oh, she's fucked. Unfortunate. Like, I feel like it's designed in a way where it's like one side should be trying to push down to the other side and the other side should be trying to push back. Like, if this was a map where you need to, like, capture each hall or something and then that kind of, like, makes your side stronger. Like, that would actually be kind of cool, I think. But it's kind of designed in that way, I feel. But at the same time, it, there's no mechanic here at all right now, that I can tell. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Did the leaves just suddenly change color? What the fuck? Like, even these named NPCs, even killing them doesn't really give anything. Like, this whole place just seems incomplete for some reason. Like, I feel like there should be more to it, but there isn't. It's so weird. These are real guards. 192k HP. We're not dealing with that. PvP is still standing here. <laughs> this guy says.
I didn't even kill him. Just attacking him got me points. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll get more information on this, but right now this does not seem to be anything. So, I think I'm just gonna end the stream here. Because we're, we're not getting any queues at this hour anyways. Queues have all ended. Alright, I'm just gonna call it here then. So that's it for uh, today's stream. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, good night.